In today's video, I am going to be breaking down some amazing sideline inbounds plays that you could run up against a man-to-man -man defense that is, of course, pressuring you to not allow you to inbound the ball. Let's get down. Let's check these out. So this first play, what we are going to have is player five. He is going to be popping up towards the half court line. When he makes that cut, he is not going to be the first option at all. We're going to be having player four popping down towards the corner, and this is just merely to be able to free up space because now what we're going to have is player one moving out towards the point, and now we're going to be having player two set that screen for player five, and then, of course, we're going to have a lob to player five for that layup. It's a super simple play that you could run. However, we really need to make sure our players are popping quickly. If player five, four, or one don't pop all at the same time, this is not going to be working because we will not have enough time. Players five, four, and one have to move all at the exact same time. And then player two will then move to set that screen for player five who will then be getting that lob. Players four, four, five, as well as one need to pop at the same time so that player two can set that screen. Obviously secondary options, if this is not there, if that pass to player five is not there, would be player four trying to post up his man in the corner and player five could then clear out and player two could be trying to post up his man and player one could be the one cutting towards the basket. However, at the same time, we need that ball to go to player five. In the this next play I call the box inbound even though we're not doing it in the key like some teams may. I I personally like to run this off towards the side where we use the side of the key and the perimeter and what we're going to have is our big players up at the top and then our shorter players down near the baseline. At this time we're going to have a pin down screen for both player 5 and player 4 and we're going to be having player 2. He's going to be popping towards the point as well as player 1 popping towards the wing. Whoever is open the most we need to get that pass to them. However I'm going to say right now player 2 if that pass goes to him he cannot just go towards the point he also needs to curl in to receive that pass because what will happen is player 2 will be coming off of that screen and if that pass goes to player 2 and player 2 is not going towards that ball player 2 red is going to pick it off so player 2 when he comes off of that screen needs to slightly curl in to receive that pass however the number one option is to get it to player 1 so that we can set up our offense this third play that we're going to run is a box and this time it is going to be in the key. However, we're going to set up our post player to be in the low post on the opposite side of the ball. And then we're going to have our secondary post player or our second biggest player on the high post on the ball side. This is extremely important because we need our point guard here and we need a shorter player here. What we're going to do is have player four set a screen and player two set a screen for players one and five. When they set those screens, we want player one to be popping towards the ball and we want player five to be going to the low post. The reason why this is important is because now we can get the player one the ball and we can set up the offense or take a three. Or the reason why this is important where we have a small player setting a screen for a big player is because now coming off of that screen if they switch this is a massive mismatch and we need to get that ball into player five obviously four and two will then pop but this is a massive mismatch anytime that you see as a player that there's a mismatch where we have a big on a small we need to exploit that and we need to be able to get that ball to that center this fourth play is a line play however we're doing it on the side of the key you don't obviously you don't have to do it on the key however this works better if you do run this right along the side of the key. And what we're going to see is player five, he's going to be coming over and setting basically a wall style screen on player, in this case, one. Player one is going to be coming off of that screen and he's going to be popping up. This is extremely important because now we're gonna be having players four and two setting a screen here so that player five can try to get between that elevator style screen, sandwich screen, some people like myself call it, where he will then pop out between those two players. And now player three will have two different options to inbound the ball. Hopefully player one will be open because that is our number one option, but player five going through the sandwich screen 
is our secondary safe option. And now our fifth play is one that I ran as a player back when I was in grade 6, 7, and 8. And basically what we did was we had a big man right here, another big man right here, a decoy here, and the player that we wanted to get the ball to right between players 5 and 4, our biggest guys on the court. Now keep in mind that... We had in grade eight a six foot six footer, five eleven, six foot two, six foot, and six foot four. That was our grade eight lineup. We were massive. Anyways, so what we are doing here is player two is going to be popping out. And at the exact same time, we're going to have players five and four. They're going to be going shoulder to shoulder. So basically, as soon as player four pops out, we want to see players four and five close in so that player two red cannot get through. And Player 2 will then be the number 1 option. Player 1, on the meantime, is going to be cutting down towards the corner. He's our decoy, and that is essentially the options that we would have. I hope that these plays help your team win more games. If they do, let us know down in the description or comment section down below. Check out my 5-out complete guide as well if you want a fantastic offense, and I'll see you guys again next time.